Here are some reading recommendations concerning graphic novels. First up is Black Hole by John Byrne, a um, prize-winning uh, graphic novel. It's set in a suburban Seattle in the mid-70s, and there's a strange plague spreading amongst teenagers, transmitted by sexual contact. Uh, the effects are different, uh, for instance, boils and sores, or even spouting a tail. Uh, the play can be viewed as sort of a symbol for high school life itself, with alienation, peer pressure, and social hierarchies. Uh, but then the murders begin. So it's a quite a gruesome story. Uh, the illustrations are in dramatic black and white, and they're quite surreal. And there's a nightmarish feel to the whole story. So that's Black Hole. And then I have a whole string of uh, autobiographical uh, graphic novels. First out is Blankets by Craig Thomas. Um, it's a coming-of-age story, and the book tells about Thompson's childhood in a really Christian family, uh, his first love and early adulthood. It's uh, beautifully written as well as drawn. It's kind of sad and slow and, and tender. So here are some um, examples of the illustration style. We see a, a bit of Naked and a bit of Jesus. So next on my list are two albums by uh, Alison Bechtel. Uh, she's a really, really uh, cool um, comics and uh, graphic novel uh, author. Uh, this is her first uh, like longer story. It's called Fun Home. Uh, that's short for Funeral Home, and that's where she grew up, at a funeral home. Uh, and this is a sort of coming of age and also coming out story uh, for Bechtel. Uh, as well as sort of an explorative uh, biography of her father, he was seemed to be seemed to have been a quite special special man. He was interested in uh, historic preservation, and he renovated the the family's old Victorian home a lot. He worked at the funeral home, which I think his parents started, but never really liked it. He was a high school English teacher. Uh, he was a super distant and quite icily. Uh, parent to Bechtel and her siblings, uh, and possibly, uh, or probably a closeted gay man himself. So um, this is really a sad story about growing up uh, in, a, in a quite coldish home. Uh, she has a very special uh, style when she uh, draws, because everything is in such detail. Um, and. She has a second album as well, which is called uh, Are You My Mother, which basically deals with her relationship with her mom, um, who was unhappily married to this uh, closeted gay man. Uh, and she was very much interested in all types of like uh, culture, like reading and the theatre and um, listening to music. But And, and she as well is, is depicted as this really distant parent figure in Bechtel's life. So uh, she draws beautifully, and she, and Bechtel also brings in a lot of like gender theory and psychology in, in all her work. So she's super smart. So that was Alison Bechtel's albums. Uh, next on is uh, a really big like graphic novel classic uh, by Art Spiegelman. It's called Mouse. And it's, it is, as you may see from the cover, a story about the Second World War and, and the Holocaust. Uh, and Spiegelman, Spiegelman uh, writes about his father, um, who was a Holocaust survivor. He was in Auschwitz. Uh, and he uh, tells the story of, of his, his father, uh, how he uh, survived through the war and the Holocaust. Uh, but there are also glimpses from, from present day when his dad is this really grumpy and quite actually racist old man uh, and how sort of art, well, Spiegelman Jr. is trying to get along with him and, and his past. Uh, so it's, it's a real classic. It's really, really worth uh, the read. Onwards, um, another autobiographical story is Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi. Uh, it's about a young girl growing up in Iran uh, during the Islamic Revolution and the war with Iraq. And both um, uh, Satrapi's parents are politically active. So there's uh, a, a real insight into uh, that sort of 
time of turmoil and you know people being tortured and disappearing and being murdered it's um and obviously also for girls and women to to go from being able to to walk freely and uh, you know, have a right to education and basic stuff like that, and then sort of being forced back into uh, very strict control. Uh, and Satrapi herself is, uh, when she's like 14, I think she's been sent to Vienna in Europe to survive the war, and she's been, she's going there by herself. She's leaving her parents behind. So it's a really, really, obviously sad and, and gripping story. Uh, she has a quite uh, simple yet very clear way of drawing. It's only black and white and focusing on you know the black parts so it's quite effectful uh, drawing uh, they also made this into uh, uh, a movie an animated movie so also sad story but worth the read um, next on the list is not as sad it's uh, called wet moon this is the first album there's a whole series of them if you like them uh, and it isn't quite as daunting as the the ones about war and revolution which we have just looked at it's a sort of an, an um, uh, college environment there are, uh, we follow a group of girls attending a local art college in the US uh, and all the girls are some sort of like subculture there are many uh goths i don't know if that concept even is viable anymore if it's just emo uh but many goth girls so uh it's a lot of like reference to pop culture and music and it's uh, uh, a group of i think many of them most of them are probably bisexual or lesbian so it's a sort of a subculture story uh, everyday life at a local art college and um, so it's it's quite charming it's uh, humorous and a bit drama um, and I think uh, the guy doing this one he's really fond of like the goth culture because he uh, he uh, uh, gives quite much detail to like clothes and and piercings and tattoos so it's a bit more like everyday story with me uh, and the last album I have here is um, Blue is the Warmest Color, uh, which was turned into a movie not long ago. Uh, and it's also a um, coming of age, coming out story about uh, Clementine, who lives quite an ordinary you know, high school life with family, friends and a boyfriend, uh, which is, she's not really into him that much. Um, and um, and then she goes with a friend to a gay bar and she meets this fantastic girl, uh, confident, strong, uh, with bluish hair. And that's the sort of introduction to uh, a very tenderly written love story. So that's an example of the way that she draws. And she has this hand printed type um, text, which looks, it feels like you're reading a diary basically. So that's a beautiful uh, coming of age, coming out love story. And also, you know, there's a movie based on it, as I said. Uh, that was uh, the recommendations I had for this time. See you.